Nigeria. Papa, there is miracle power here. Encounters that will blow your mind. Open Heavens 2019. Apostle Jinsen Suleiman. Date 7 and 8 November 2019. Venue Field 1 Police College, Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria. Time Thursday 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Friday 9 a.m. and 10 p.m. All night long. For inquiries, please call. Jesus! It is better to be envied than to be pitied. But the only problem about envy, it is very dangerous when people envy you for pettiness. Hello, great people. My name is Johnson Suleiman. I'd like to give you a special invitation, and I hope this message meets you well. Do you live in Edmonton? Do you live in Ottawa? Do you live in Toronto? Do you live in Winnipeg? This is an outstanding invitation for you all as I come to Calgary. I'll be in Canada for an outburst of the move of God, the great, great, massive harvest of souls. So I'm coming to Calgary. The address is now being scrolled, and all the information you need to get, the numbers to call for seat reservation. I'm believing God. I'm going to be laying my hands on the sick. I'm going to be praying for people, believing God for a miracle, and God will be sitting in the building. This year is our year of open heavens and uncommon grace, and that's what's coming to Calgary. I'll see you there. Hallelujah! I'm rounding up American Invasion for 2019. Be my guest as I come to Houston, Texas for a most outstanding move of God. And this is good news. It is Thanksgiving. Bring the child. Baby, come back to life. Come back to life! Hey, hey. It's back to life. It's not the first pregnancy you are having. Yes, it's not the first pregnancy. It's not? You've had miscarriage? Yes. Huh? Yes, I did. This woman, you think I'm guessing? You've had miscarriage. Now you are six months. Yes, I'm Your pregnancy is six months and one week. Three days. <laughs> 22 hours. 50 minutes. is too low do you love the Lord are you sure you love Jesus everything we will become in life as we walk with the Lord is centered on our loving God and that's one of the things I want to establish this morning as we share God's word that the root of uncommon success the root of uncommon outstanding incontestable lifting and rise the root the platform is the love of god the true fear of god is not to take the mercy of god for granted the true sign of the fear of god and we believe God that by reason of that which God will do this season in your life, your life will become an evidence for everyone to see. Amen. If your amen is louder, I just spoke to you. Amen. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Lift your hand toward heaven. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Hallelujah. Oh my soul. Worship is holy name. Sing like never before.
before Oh my soul Wash it his holy And bless the Lord Bless the Lord Oh my soul Worship his holy name. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. The God of awesome waters, I tested of your powers. Oh, this show, oh, this show, I know you have shown me so much mercy, much more than I deserve. We love you, Jesus. We express our love for you. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Give the Lord a hand as you take your seat. Amen and amen. Do you love the Lord? I said, do you love the Lord? Thank you, Father. We want to thank God for our pastor, Pastor Hilary Jesse and Pastor Ruth. The Lord bless you. I also want to thank God for Pastor. Oh, Lord. Your name is too long. Amen. Kenya too. Um, let's give the Lord a hand for him. I'll be with him 5 a.m. tomorrow. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I'll just touch there and leave. Thank you. The wife has been a she's an old child. More than um, several years, right? You knew her then at the headquarters, okay? Put you at the evangel is it evangelism department. Evangelism, all right. Praise God. Sons of the prophet, bless you. All the pastors here, God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. And and choir, ah, you dress well. I told, I told Pastor Ruth yesterday. I said I like your dressing. I like it when you appear. I can't. Uh, um, please don't don't judge me. Anyway, if you judge me, it doesn't matter. I can't stand people who don't appear well. It's, it's, you know, when you are coming before God, just appear well. Appear well. Appear honorably. So when I see what they wear, and I'm very good with fashion, I look at the combination, I look at the color, I say, okay, the wardrobe, who is the wardrobe lady? Who is the wardrobe lady? It's you. 
What's your name? What's your name? Huh? Ruby. Ah, Ruby. Where are you from? From Kenya. Ruby. Is that a Kenyan name? That sounds like India. Ruby. God bless you. Don't worry. I'll give you people money for one set of uniform. You guys are, are doing wonderful. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. My wife is with me. She's in my stomach. Amen. I love her so much and I miss home. Break your Bible to Judges 16, 20, 21, 22. Judges 16, 20, 21, and 22. Judges. If you don't know where Judges is, you judge yourself. Judges 16. And he said, she said, the Philistines be upon this Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times before and shake myself. And he wist not that the Lord was departed from him and the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with feathers of brass and he did grind in the prison house how beat the hair of his head began to grow after he was shaven somebody shout restoration shout it loud and clear I want to share on restoration and I want to make a decree before I go further into the world that I don't know what you've lost in life maybe it's marital material ministerial financial health wise status wise anything you've lost in life I see it coming back double fold anything and everything that you have lost in your life I see it coming back Afford. If you lost money, it comes back. If you lost house, it comes back. If you lost a job, it comes back. Somebody shout restoration. Restoration. Take your seat. If the devil takes everything from you, don't let him take your hope. The Bible says, Hope make it not a shame. In Job chapter 14, if you read verse 7, he said there is hope for a tree. Even if it is cut down, he said when it sends water, it shall rise again. In Ecclesiastes 4, if you read verse 9, he said to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. The Bible says concerning Samson, he said, Delilah said unto Samson, let me say this to you before I go ahead. It was not Delilah that messed up Samson. It was not Delilah was too small to handle Samson. When Samson stood before the lords of the Philistines, they began to rejoice. They said, look at this hero that Dagon, our God, has given us. Delilah was not the one who brought Samson down. It was Dagon, the God of the Philistines, that brought down Samson. Dagon had loaded Delilah with all marine powers and marine deposits and forces. So Samson saw Delilah and it was spirits from her that took a hold of Samson. The Bible says Samson shook himself normally. Whenever he shakes himself, there is uncommon strength. But this time around, he said the Philistines be upon you. Samson shook himself. And strength had left him he said the Lord had departed so the Lord's presence in his life was the source of his strength the presence of God is the source of strength the Bible says in Psalm 16 11 that will show me the path of life Psalm 16 verse 11 that will show me the path of life for in thy presence there is fullness of joy at thy right hand are pleasures evermore 
in Exodus 33 verse 14 and 15 Moses said except your presence go with us we will not go in Psalm 51 verse 11 he said cast me not away from thy presence take not the Holy Spirit from me in Psalm 68 and verse 2 he said as wax melts before the fire so let the wicked melt before the presence of our God in Psalm 68 and verse 8 the Bible said the heavens shook and the earth skipped and moved at the presence of God am I communicating in the Bible said in Isaiah 63 verse 9 he said there is an angel called the angel of his presence in Psalm 130 verse 7 verse 19 he said where shall I go from your presence where that shall I flee from thy spirit in Acts chapter 3 if you read verse 19 he said a time of refreshing shall come from the presence of God I want to pray for someone today that at the end of this morning I see a fresh baptism of his presence oh. I see a fresh baptism of his presence. A fresh baptism of his presence. Lift the word shout, I receive. Samson told Delilah a secret. That was the secret Samson knew about himself. But there was a secret he did not even know about himself. God kept it. Samson told Delilah, if you can cut my seven locks of my hair, I will lose my strength. But Samson never knew that if the, if the hair comes back, his strength will come back. And like one of our pastors said, the devil was so stupid that when he cut off Samson's hair, he would have kept a barber by him. So that when the hair is coming up, they'll keep cutting it. There was something that devil never knew. The Bible says if only they had known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. The enemies that attacked you didn't know that when you bounce back, you are bouncing better than before. The enemies that attacked you didn't know that when you bounce back, you are bouncing higher. When people speak against you, there's something they don't know. They don't know they are working for you. The truth is that anybody who speaks against you is advertising you one time i went to bed unhappy i said father what have i done my face is on all newspapers in nigeria my face on front pages of newspapers different blogs oh lord why and the lord asked me do you know how much you would have paid to be on those blogs i put you there free of charge am i talking to somebody now am i communicating here god wants to use your enemies to announce you take your seat samson you know what the enemy said let me show you something joseph his brothers put him in a pit for three days down to the pit they thought they were working against him no they were working in line with prophecy but after three days they brought him out of the pit because jesus had to go down to the pit of hell for three days and come out after three days the bible says they killed an animal and they took his cloth and they dipped his cloth in blood so that they can show to his father that that animal had killed him they didn't know that that garment then in israel anything stained in blood speaks for the owner of the garment so what they didn't know that when they dipped his garment in blood when he appeared before potiphar's house it was his garment stained with blood that was speaking for him when he appeared even in prison it was his garment stained with blood that was speaking for him what your enemies meant for evil god is turning around for your good what your enemies meant for evil god is turning around for your good i say it's turning around for your good is turning around for your good when a curse was placed on adam god said the earth shall bring forth thorns and pistols when jesus saw it jesus went 
down to the cross and he carried the thorns on his head what was the product of the curse on man he carried it on his head but there was a problem your feet cannot touch the earth and yet you break the curse placed on man your body cannot touch heaven and you break the curse placed on man you have to be suspended in between that was why the cross was initiated his leg was not on the ground his leg was not on the air he was suspended in the air and he carried a crown of thorns what the enemies meant for evil god is turned around for your good i don't know what the enemy has done to you but i see god turning it around <laughs> take your seat how the bible says his head began to grow and something the bible says he killed more at his death than his lifetime that was a type of jesus jesus saved more at his death than in his lifetime when samson was put the bible says samson said to a little lad by him let me feel the pillars he put his right hand on one pillar he put his left hand on another and i asked the lord what was that the lord said he initiated the cross he, 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 the cross showed up for him if there are confrontations in your life present to them calvary if there are issues in your life and the doctors have given you a report present to that sickness calvary because in calvary he carried your shame in calvary he carried your pain in calvary he carried your struggle in calvary he carried your frustration in calvary he carried your disease he carried your poverty he carried your hardship you don't serve a dead god you serve a mighty god he's the same yesterday he's the same today he's the same forever when god says yes no man can say no when god lifts you up no man can bring you down god is on your side Power is on your side glory is on your side you went and shout hallelujah take your seat how do i experience restoration number one look up here the bible says something said i will shake myself <laughs> i will shake myself myself by myself uh, i have a formula i will shake number one if you must get restoration stop using god stop using god that's a problem with many of us study your bible from judges 16 to judges um, from Judges 13 to Judges 16, there was nowhere Samson prayed. The only time he prayed is when he was with Dagon. Only when he was in problem. There are people that don't pray until there is a problem. There are many people. A man told me, he said, sir, he said, for two months I can't sleep. I do vigil every night. I said, okay, you do vigil because you can't sleep. You don't do vigil because you want to do vigil. There are people that problems prompt them to be spiritual. You are using God. No, Samson had no fellowship with God. Samson had a formula. I will shake myself. There are people that think that no matter the life they live, once they come to church with an offering, God understands formula. So I can assess any man of God so long I have money in my hand. Formula. So they move from one man of God to another man of God. What are you looking for? Formula. And they always come back to square one. People who are using God. You see, if you are using God, it is known through four ways. Number one, the friends you keep i don't care the explanation if you are born again an unbeliever cannot be your friend
not possible. Can two work together? Except they agree. Be not, 2 Corinthians 6 14, be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. How can a sister who is in church be having a relationship with a brother in the world? She's still in church. You are using God. Say, 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 we don't know where to come from. Since all the brothers in church are not approaching any somebody, the one outside, like, we have to play your cards very well. So if it doesn't work here, it can work here. Stop using God. There are people that put pastors under pressure when they have problems. Very unfaithful people. You see, I've been preaching for 32 years. Do, do I look it? Do you know why? I don't put myself under pressure. If you come with problem, I was telling them during that conference, I said, I don't, I don't talk with demons. If I'm ministering demons, I will not go. Stay. I don't have time. Stay. I just walk away. I lay up all the time. Apostle, oh, apostle, oh, apostle, oh, oh. That's when you finish acting movies, you come out. I walk away. I don't stress myself about something. There are people who come for prayers. I ask, are they workers? No. Do they come for Bible study? No. Do they come for prayer meeting? No. Sunday service? No. I say, I'm not seeing you. Go and meet another pastor. Period. I don't have time. I, ca I can't save the world. What is that? If I save everybody, who. Must everybody go to heaven? Who will go to hell? <laughs> we help we help the empty. Don't you know there are people that will go with the rapture? There are people that will miss the rapture. They will follow second batch. Second batch. Why some are going, some will stay back to write the report. Because they will be the ones that the, the policemen will be asking, what happened in your house today? So they, they so they have to stay to write the report. They say, what happened today? He said, my friend was studying and they took up. Say, hey, what else? What? So I, I want to go with Fudge Bash. Am I talking to somebody here? I do not. My pastors can tell you. People say, Apostle travel from place to place. He doesn't rest. Says who? You, you've been coming to see me. You see me lying down. All the time. I'm resting. You send me a text that's confusing. I delete it. Must I reply? Somebody, somebody sent me five page of text dream dreamt and dreamt and dreamt and dreamt he said after that dream I woke up I asked myself and I went back the dream continued I deleted it you are a psychiatric patient go, go and see a doctor not me how can you dream dream you woke up you went to eat yourself came back you continued the dream you went second time to eat yourself you, and all the dreams are negative and you say I should interpret it I should interpret what doesn't make sense. When you talk like this, like it's like, oh, how can a man of God talk like this? Do you know why Jesus shook the world? He had no health issues. It was because of wisdom. He was wise. In John chapter 2, verse 24, the Bible says he did not commit himself to men because he knew all men. you keep there are people I have escorted out of our church twice I took the hand I said come say what I said follow me just come follow me we got to the door of the church I said bam I don't want to see you here again if you enter this church again you are in trouble is this about this the house of God I said but I'm the senior prefect Since you entered, you fight this one, you fight that one, you cause problem, issues, you are setting issues, everything boils down to you. I have prayed for you, I have laid hands on you, I have almost laid leg on you, I have anointed you, I have poured oil on you, I have almost put you inside oil that you now look like chips, you know chips, you look like chips, and yet you refuse to change out. And that's the problem enough you have. You are counseling who you should counsel. I tell my wife at times, I say, you have too much energy. This lady cannot make it. He says, stop saying that. I say, I'm not cursing her. I know her. she can't make it. 
somebody you advise will be arguing with you eh, eh, yes sir yes sir, sir. that revelation as this revelation is, is not of god say, but sir after god showed me the revelation god showed me as you see confusion you can't counsel this kind of person just go are you following me who are the people you keep a man said you will be the same person between now and the next five years no change except for the books you read the messages you listen to and the friends you keep that you are a pastor doesn't mean all pastors can be your friend not everybody's going listen to me have you seen have you seen lion in the market have you seen crocodile going to the bank to deposit money <laughs> have you seen fishes on trees talk to me no have you seen have you seen monkey swimming in the water there are places you should not be found that's number two the friends you keep the places you go there are places you should not be found there are people I, 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 am i communicating here someone tells you, you know you're my friend say what he said i'm having a birthday i'm, I'm having my bed my birthday party in, in that club say oh happy birthday but i don't go to places like that he said but you're my friend see that's why i wish you birthday but i don't go to places like that it is better you lose friendship with man because the bible says friendship with the world is enmity with god when you are always looking for how to please people you will always displease god when you are always thinking of how to make people happy you will always make god unhappy when you are always thinking of how to give people comfort you will give heaven discomfort mind the places you go am i talking to somebody here number three when prayer becomes an event you are using god when prayer becomes an event not fellowship not fellowship there are people that can never pray once you hear them say i'm waiting on the lord they must have seen a bad dream they want to cancel they can never seek the face of god when things are fine they have no fellowship with god when i see some of you that bible in your hand you have never read it well the lord told me he said when i became a believer i said lord what do i do he said pattern your life after jesus when i just got saved i said how do i do that he said read the four gospels and i began to read matthew mark luke and john matthew mark luke and john is 89 chapters if you read four chapters every day in 22 days you are done I read it for two years every month why to pattern my life I read the Bible Genesis to Revelation 39 times and there are some of you now you carry that Bible there are certain areas you don't go and I can tell you Philemon you don't read it Nahum mm -mm. Zephaniah some of you are looking at me you don't even know that's in the Bible you think that's the name of a location in Thailand? <laughs> the pastor said, so I want, at the airport, say, I want you to be my, my mentor. Have you looking for how to see you? I said, okay. There's a scripture I'd like to give to you. He said, what is it? I said, open to the book of Abraham. He brought his Bible. <laughs> I said, you know it? He said, I read it this morning. <laughs> Not only was he ignorant, he was a liar. I said, you read book of Abraham this morning? He said, yes, sir, this morning in fellowship. I said, okay, open it. <laughs> a pastor. So many of us. One week without prayer makes one week. And many of us have no consecutive study life. Listen, I'm giving you a challenge, everyone. Around the nations of the world, we are seeing that happen. In our ministry, people are becoming crazy about the word of God. A young boy sent me a message from one African one American state. He said, My father died, my mother died. I hated God because I lost my prayer, so I hated God. 
He said, three of my friends will be invited to a program you came to. I'm not calling the name the state. He said, so we came there and sat at the back. Just looking. He said, but there was something that made us stand. He said, when you were ministering, we are writing scriptures. We wrote over 90. He said, we stood. Who is this? He said, our, our, we told ourselves we are not missing here tomorrow. The next day, the morning, they were there. The next day, the evening, they were there. He said, our passion for God came back. Our love for God came back. It was not a miracle they saw. It was the word of the Lord that hit their spirit. What, what flesh struggle, apology, plead, finances, funding can't do. The power of God's word can do it. Child of God, prayer is not an event. You don't pray because there is a trouble. You don't pray because you have problem. You pray because you love God. Prayer is fellowship. Prayer is not an event. Prayer is fellowship. Prayer is not something you pick up when there is a problem on ground. Even when there is money, pray. There is no money, pray. Things are good, pray. Things are bad, pray. Things are fair, pray. You wake up, pray. You are walking, pray. You are lying down, pray. Am I talking to somebody right now? Many, many are not addicted to the world. Matthew 24, verse 35 says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but not my word. Psalm 119, if you read verse 162, he said, I rejoice at thy word as one who has found great spoil. I rejoice as one who has found great. God said to Joshua, he said, I'm sending you forth. But, Joshua 1.8, this book of the law. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8 said, the grass may wither the flower fadeth but the word of our God abideth forever. The word of God says in Colossians 3 16 he said let the word of God dwell richly in you in all wisdom. In Acts 19 if you read verse 20 he says so grew mightily the word of God and prevailed. The word of God grew and it prevailed. In Acts 20, verse 32, he said, I commend you to God and the word of his grace that is able to build you and give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Hebrews 4, verse 12 says, The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit, of the joints and marrows, the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. The power of the word of the Lord. And that is where we have a problem because we have people who are no more conscious of that word of the lord you carry the bible that you have never opened you carry the bible because it's not in your spirit let me shock you no matter what god has said about you until you settle it on earth it will not work let me prove this to you in Psalm 119 verse 89 he said forever O Lord thy word is settled where? where? not on earth oh. you have to settle it on earth because it's only settled in heaven you must know it ap apply it and settle it on earth any Christian that can quote scriptures according to the digits of his age is an irresponsible Christian. My house, my children, my children are eating scriptures. I mean, children eating scriptures, and you have a believer that will, do, will carry scriptures and be cutting and nailing it like a, an outdated fashion designer. You are jamming scriptures, jamming scriptures. Hear me. wants to receive anything from God in Isaiah 55 if you read verse 8 he says so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return to me void but accomplish the thing whereunto he said and prosper I release 
upon you the appetite for God's word. I release upon your life the baptism of the word of God. I say the baptism of the word of God. 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 The appetite of the word of God. Somebody shout, I receive it. I receive it. five people. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Number two, if you must get restoration, know your what. Know your what. W O R T H. Know your what. Samson was a judge in Israel. But look at the people Samson kept hanging around with. Samson was moving from one woman to another woman. In fact, Samson's scripture began with a woman. Ended with another one. He was moving, Samson was moving, sneaking into places a judge should not be. In John chapter 1, if you read verse 19, 20, 21, and 22, 23. John 1, 19 to 23. The Bible said they met John the Baptist. And they said, who are you? Are you a liar? Are you one of the prophets? He said, no, I'm the voice of one. Crying in the wilderness. If you don't know who you are, situations will define you. If you don't know who you are, friends will define you. Nobody's hearing me. If you don't know who you are, issues of life will define you. Challenges will define you. It is not arrogance or pride to be selective in relationships. It is not arrogance. It is not pride. There are people that cannot relate with you. There are people you cannot relate with. Because your, 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 your mentality and approach to life are different. I was traveling. I've always given this example. I was traveling one time and I sat at the lounge. And um, I was going to the UK. A pastor was going to South Africa. So he saw me. Ah, apostle. So we started talking. And he began to tell me. You know what they call gist? gist be careful of gist and we began to talk i was listening he was telling me school thing i was in your program you did so so place i went to some of my friends oh my god i was i had an announcement first burden to uk and i asked him i said it's like that's my flight he said no that's not your flight when we came to your program we... second Burden. I said, that's my flight. Let me go. He says, no, it's not your flight. Ah, it's not your flight. It's not your flight. Me, I sat down. I said, okay. Final burden. After about one hour, I said, no, no, no. I stood up. I went to the young lady who was there. I said, hey, when is the flight to UK? She looked at me as if I was not okay. She said, sir, are you alright? I said, yes. She said, the flight is gone. Eh? And guess what? As soon as they said that, they announced his own flight. He carried his bag. He was good. I said, where are you going? Come back here. And I said to him, I said, you know what? From today, if you see me coming this way, take another way. And the Lord said to me, No. It's your fault not his fault you are not going on the same destination so he should not be the one to tell you when your flight is leaving or coming he said god says your fault when you before you relate with people you must check are you both going on the same destination it is destination that determines definition there are things some people tell me People approach you. The, the, the kind of suggestions people make to you determines how they see you. There are things people can't tell you when they know what you stand for. When people know you are a believer and
and they're discussing certain things when you are walking there they keep quiet they say oh, holier than thou is here over righteous sister over righteous brother but when they know you have no stand you have no stand they bring such suggestion they suggest bribe they suggest immorality they suggest defraud they suggest how to hurt somebody they suggest how to undo someone they suggest it why because they know you you don't stand for anything when you get out of the church you are a very very sound unbeliever when you get into the church you are a tongue-talking christian even chameleons are asking what you come, where you come from chameleons are asking where you come from they're asking ooh, ooh, this one where does he come from the devil is looking at you and the devil is amazed he's calling his demons say come and see another devil here <laughs> the devil is so angry because you have taken his job from him the kind of wickedness you perpetrate i mean when people are binding the devil the devil is saying please don't bind me alone bind my colleague <laughs> there's a cold devil around here am i talking to somebody now it's very important no you are what write this down your sense of value determines your flow of virtue your sense of value is what determines your flow of virtue it is value that draws virtue you cannot get virtue until you place value don't hang around places where you are not valued don't move with people that tolerate you go to places you are celebrated is where you are honored not where you are humored the almightiness of god can only be seen in the light the life of a man who has his head well seated on the shoulder god is too big to make you too small in genesis 28 verse 3 he said i'm the almighty god genesis 17 1 i'm the almighty god walk before me and be thou perfect genesis 35 11 almighty god Genesis 43 verse 14 Almighty God Genesis 48 verse 3 Almighty God Genesis 49 verse 25 Almighty God His capacity cannot be limited You see there are things that are not happening in your life now It has not reduced God's capacity Just there are principles you are not applying Malachi 3 verse 6 I am the Lord I change it not Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Titus 1 verse 5. God cannot lie. Numbers 23 19 is not a man for him to lie, not the son of man for him to repent. Hebrews 6 8 says, By two immutable things, it was impossible for God to lie. That we might receive a consolation who have lay hold to lay hold on the refuge I said before us. God cannot lie. He cannot lie. I like what the word of God says in Nahum chapter 1 verse 9 what can you imagine against the Lord you are too small what can you imagine against the Lord but everyone who would make impact in life the Bible says in Psalm chapter 1 you read verse 1 to verse 3 now it says blessed is the man that what that what in the nor standard nor seated Let's start again. Blessed is the man that walketh nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of this comfort. If you start to walk with them, you will soon stand with them. If you stand with them, you will sit with them. It begins from walking to standing with them, to sitting with them you must be very very selective one day somebody died and i was they said we should go to the burial so much pressure so i woke up prayed a bit 
pump one my clothes. I said, told my driver, I said, let's go. Some minutes past 11 p.m. We're going there. We went to a gas station. They were putting gas in the car. I stopped. This man that died, did I kill him? The answer was no. This very I'm going to. What will he add to my life? Nothing. Did I preach to him before he died? Yes. Have I given my financial support to this barrier? Yes. I said, driver, reverse. Turn the car. He says, sir, I thought we were going to a barrier. I said, see your barrier? Turn the car. I went to my slept. When they woke up, I said, hope you got my, my financial support. They said, yes, sir. People actually value your hand than your presence. That's the truth. They value your hand. Not everybody is angry that you didn't come to their wedding if your money came. So we have to be very. Samson moved with the wrong people. Samson was always hanging around the Philistines. Samson was always hanging around the men of sin. Samson was always. Look at your contact. Look at your contact. It defines your mentality of relationship. Carry your phone contact. Go through it. It tells who you are. There are people in the world. You have all their number. You have. You write their name. One, two, three. You have their three lines. This is a sinner. This is somebody who has no fear for God. This is somebody who is who is a who, 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 who mocks the church. There is someone who has no value to your life. Who adds nothing to your life. You've got to be very careful. If you know who you are, there are places you won't hang around. There are people you will not relate with. There are things you will not say. There are things you will not do. Am I speaking here? There are things you will not do. There are places you will not go to. There are things that won't come out of your mouth. There are things you can't say. You are too big to gossip a person. It's, it's, it's a sense of value. I don't talk about people because who are you for me to talk about? I hey, said, this guy, this man, yeah, call him. So what? Let's say before him. Call him. Hey, but sir, I need to tell you first. I said, no, I don't talk about people behind them. Call him. Who are you that I will sit down? And many of us, it is a pleasure for us. You celebrate issues. You celebrate talking about your friends. You celebrate talking against them. You celebrate talking about your pastor. He said, you, say, you, say, you see this church? He said, yeah. We are just coming home. We are just coming. Yeah, it's not as if we don't know what's going on here. We are smart. But we are just following them. They think we don't, we don't know what they are doing in this church. We know. We are sharp. I've been to seven churches this year. And all the seven, all the seven churches, I joined the choir. So I can be close to the pastor's wife. I know what they are doing. But I'm just here. I, I came to observe. When people walk to you and they tell you that um, this church, I am here until God tells me what to do. Those are agents of hell. I'm, to hear, I'm here until God tell me what to do. Make sure you never give them any empowerment. Because they are looking for how to endorse, endorse their transit. I'm here until God, God told me, or they tell you, God told me to come and help you. Who are you? I'm to help you. You are not to help me. Am I talking to somebody here? A young man came to our church and he said to me, sir, sir, sir God sent me to this ministry to help you. I said, go outside. He said, I said, help me from outside. Don't be inside here. You are too small to help God. Uza tried to help the ark from falling and God killed him. Who are you to help God? And when I hear pastors say, come out and support the work of God. Who are you to support the work of God? Come out and help your life. If you are giving a seed, help your life. If, I, if you give me money now, is your life you are helping? Is it me you are helping? How much do you have? You walk to me, you carry money. You say, Apostle, I'm blessing you. You are helping your life. Am I talking to somebody here? Without controversy, the last is blessed of the better. That's the truth. There are people who think that without them, nothing can happen in the house of God. Without them, things cannot move. Without them, 
them things will go bad without them no one can lift up a finger they act like the like they are the best thing that have happened since after sliced bread but god can do what he wants to do his way you have to be very selective because who you move with defines where you get to who you move with it defines the speed you work with your 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 relationship can affect your speed your association can affect your acceleration your population can affect your progression so you have to be very careful and selective number three and i'm going to pray number three are you ready you may not like this one be led by the spirit be led you know samson for the first time he said to a little lad he said lead me does that tell you something he said to a little child lead me if god must lead you you must admit you are a child if god romans 8 8 he said he said those that walk in the flesh cannot please god john 6 63 jesus said is the spirit that quickened the flesh protect profited nothing the words i speak to you they are spirit and their life it is the spirit that quickened in john chapter 3 verse 30 he said he must increase must decrease look for 18 Isaiah 61 verse 1 the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me everyone in life if you make a choice of a future partner with the eyes of the flesh you will spend the rest of your years in pain if you make the choice of a future partner let me give you this testimony and then I'll pray a, 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 a pastor was invited as a guest speaker to a church and while he was ministering he said who is florence a lot of people by that name came out and a young lady who was an imbecile her name was florence she was coming out so the host pastor because the program was on camera the old pastor went to where she was coming out from and blocked her so that camera would not pick her say my friend turn back turn back you always like to show yourself in church come back he said but the man said florence my name is florence it's not you it's not you turn back turn back go and sit down before you disgrace me here while she was going back the man of god said this florence i'm talking about is like an imbecile she works like this so the guest said hey it's me <laughs> and she walked out the pastor said oh my god everybody was looking they want to hear the prophecy the pastor said florence thus said the lord by this time next year your wedding shall be the talk of the town the old church said eh? florences that are normal are single is it the florence so at the end of the service the host pastor and the guest speaker we are talking the, the, the host pastor to the guest speaker said god used you mightily he said, but you made only one mistake only one but every other thing was okay but one you miss one it's okay 99 over 100 is a it's okay you miss one you are still a human being so you didn't get one well he said which one is it that lady you said will get married did you look at her did you see how she looks he said but that's what god told me he said okay but I will advise you tomorrow, correct that nonsense oh, before our members get upset. Okay. So the pastor came the next day, repeated the same thing. Few weeks later, her brother was in Europe. The mother was putting pressure on him to get married there. He said, No, God said his wife is in Nigeria. While he was waiting on the Lord, the Lord said, Go to Nigeria. He came from Europe to Nigeria, and the Lord told him, The name of your wife is Florence. Go to Soso City, check into a hotel, and be praying. He was praying. So one time he came out the balcony of the hotel and put his hand and was just pressing his phone and he saw a girl walking with an, another girl. The girl was walking like this. And the Lord said, that's your wife. He said, which of them? Because there were two. The Lord said, the one walking. He said, I rebuke every 
scream voice I rebuke every voice he ignored it so the next day he was still doing that they were passing again so he went to the lady and he said you come she thought, said me she said, Phew. even in her condition she was still selective <laughs> so the man said look at this come here he said hmm. you think i have your time i don't have your time <laughs> and she was going the man was looking at her he saw her again he asked for their house and people told this where they live he went there cut long story short on the way it, it happened in a place called worry it's in delta state in nigeria on the day of the wedding the hall was packed do you know why they want to see how she will look in the gown so the young man it was time to match he was crying father what is this <laughs> why me the girl was marching a match is a match it doesn't matter how you match you know just matching <laughs> she was matching people were looking at her all the all the able-bodied florence we observing her people we observe your rising i said people we observe your rising while he was there a pastor was praying in the holy ghost the girl was walking to the altar everybody was looking at her as she got there now every wedding the bridegroom comes first before the bride this one the lady came they were waiting for the man waited he didn't come out while he was coming out grumbling the power of god fell on the girl she, with her gown she began to roll began to roll began to scream in pains the lord was walking on her legs walking on her hands to cut long story short today in europe she holds the ministry of the husband when the holy ghost leads you you cannot make mistakes when god becomes your director when god campaigns for you even the devil will vote for you when god becomes your director no matter the limitations of hell you can not fall a victim uh -huh. somebody say lead me holy ghost lead me holy ghost say lead me holy ghost lead me holy ghost say lead me holy ghost lead me holy ghost say lead me holy ghost lead me holy ghost say lead me holy ghost lead me holy ghost say lead me holy ghost lead me holy ghost say lead me holy ghost lead me holy ghost say lead me holy ghost lead me holy ghost anyway you are walking outside the spirit anyway you are walking in error i speak a divine correction i speak a divine correction i speak a divine correction be on your feet be on your feet be on your feet you will pray one prayer you will say lord restore my prayer altar restore my prayer altar restore my prayer altar the the, the, the the capacity to make prayer a lifestyle Let, restore my prayer altar say my father my father shout it loud and clear my father my father shout it loud and clear my father my father shout it at the top of your voice my father my father as i pray as i pray restore my prayer altar restore my prayer altar restore my prayer altar restore my prayer altar. open your mouth and turn it to prayer restore my prayer altar restore my prayer altar restore my prayer altar lord restore my prayer altar
pray you will pray i like you to take this prayer loud and clear oh god pluck away wrong people from my life take out wrong people those planted planted in my life that are slowing down my speed Plug them out, 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 plug Open it. If you have your anointing oil, open it. If you don't have, let somebody just turn on your palm. Let somebody give you oil on your palm. But if you have yours, open it and lift it up. But if you don't have, let somebody turn on your palm. 
do that. Do that. Let somebody turn on your palm. Lift it up. Open your oil. Open your bottle of oil. Lift it up. If you have on your palm, you can lift it up too. But we're going to bless that in the bottles first. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We consecrate this. Amen. Let it become the bodily presence of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let it carry tangible presence for divine intervention. Amen. Let it be judgment oil on wickedness. Amen. Let it be oil of favor on those who need favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Those of you who still have oil on your palms, lift it up. If you have oil in the bottle, turn in your palm. Cover the bottle, keep it safe. And lift up the palm with oil. So everyone lift up your palms. Just one. Your right hand. Keep the bottle very safe. The Lord told me that this morning the favor of God will come upon people. Favor is what makes a man stand out. What your CV, your credentials can't do, what contacts can do, favor will do. Favor is what breaks protocol. Favor relegates regulations. <laughs> when a man operates in favor, he enjoys speed. Favor is what makes a man's life a mystery. Lift up that hand. <laughs> Say after me, Father. Father. Right now. Right now. I connect. I connect to uncommon favor. To uncommon favor. I connect. I connect to supernatural speed. To supernatural speed. I connect. I connect to uncommon access. To uncommon access. I connect. I connect to outstanding achievement. To outstanding achievement. I connect. I connect. To supernatural preservation. To supernatural preservation. I connect. I connect. To supernatural supply. To supernatural supply. By this anointing. By this anointing. Every deposit. Every deposit. Every foreign body. Every foreign body. In my body. In my body. In my spirit. In my spirit. By this anointing. By this anointing. Come out. 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 Put that hand on your head. Put it. Put it. Yes, that's it. That's it. That is favor. That is favor. That is favor. That is favor. Nations are looking for you. That is favor. God is connecting you to nations. International doors. That is favor. 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 That is oh, receive favor, brother. Receive it, sister. That is favor. Favor. Shadaba. Baratagata. Help her. Help her, please. Help her. Favor. Amen. Leave them, just leave them where they are. Don't bring them out. Don't bring them out. Leave them where they are. Leave them, just take care of them gently. Favor. <laughs> leave them where they are. Don't, don't bring them out. Just leave them where they are. Favor of God. Oh. Uncommon favor. I decree that obstacles are rolled away. Limitations are broken. <laughs> Limitations are broken. Obstacles are removed. Amen. Resistance is broken. Amen. By this anointing, you have moved from disfavor to favor. 
you have moved from delay to speed Amen. this morning may speed come into your life Amen. where others could not get into with all their qualifications uh, I decree you will get there Amen. I decree where others are rejected you'll be accepted the hand of the almighty rest upon you Amen. I speak grace Amen. I speak grace I speak grace I speak grace Jesus I release healing into your body Amen. healing Amen. from the crowns of your head to the sole of your feet Amen. healing in your blood your bone someone has a problem on one part of the chest and you have an appointment with the doctor today you have a problem on one part of the chest you have an appointment with the doctors today you want to see the doctor by 3 p.m the doctors say you should come they need to check what is wrong with you if you are that person i need to see you god is healing you right now don't waste my time god is healing you you have an appointment with the doctors don't waste my time come forward let me pray for you god is healing you hallelujah Who is Veronica? Who is Veronica? Who is Veronica? Who is Veronica? Veronica. Veronica. Veronica, I'm seeing a letter K by your name. There's a letter K. A letter K. I'm seeing by your name. There's a letter K. K. I'm seeing by your name. A letter K. K. The way I'm seeing you walk, it's like something happened to you. It's like something happened to you. It's like something happened to you. You were shot. You were shot. You were shot. You were shot with a gun. I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. That's who I choose to be. I'm free. I know. In Christ, I'm free indeed. No chains are me. I choose to be. She's the one. I'm free indeed. Come, come, come. I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. Were you shot? Were you shot? Ask her. Maybe she didn't hear what I said. No chains are holding me. That's who I choose to be. I'm free indeed. In Christ I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. He's who I choose to be. Wait. If you have a child called Nathaniel, raise your right hand. You have a child called Nathaniel. Nathaniel. You have a child called Nathaniel. Raise your right hand. You have a child called Emmanuel. Nathaniel Emmanuel. You have a child called Nathaniel. You have a child called Emmanuel. I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. Oh, chains are holding me. In you, I just to me. Wait. Do you have Nathaniel? Two Do you have Nathaniel? Two, two boys, Nathaniel and Emmanuel. They're your children? Yeah. Lift your hands. I'm free indeed. 
you, are you a pastor? Are you a pastor? I am a pastor. From Lift Ethiopia. your hand. From Ethiopia. Yeah. Lift your hand. We command causes to be turned to blessings. Do your children play keyboard? Do, do they play keyboard? Yeah. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see God. You have prophets in your house. They are prophetic children. The hand of the Lord will come upon you. Oh. Hallelujah. Goli, 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 Goli. My father's name is Goli. Yeah. <laughs> now, listen, there's going to be an overflow. I saw a woman and Zaudi, Zaudi. 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 Who is, who is that? My, 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 my wife. <laughs> Listen to me. I hear God tell me to tell you. There's going to be an outburst of uncommon favor. Yeah. Wherever someone is in the crowd there, there's someone here who is getting an outburst of uncommon favor there's some i don't know a place like embo is there something like that? there's somebody i'm saying from embo you have this terminal affliction there's this attack on your health it comes it goes it comes it goes you are from embo embo you have something to do with embo if you are the one embo embo it comes it goes it comes it goes embo are you from embo embo it comes and goes embo embo victoria i hear victoria victoria what's your name sorry hallelujah you're looking at me what's the matter you're surprised lift your hands father in the name of jesus father in the name of jesus <laughs> lady look at me look at me two things are going to happen in your life I'm not seeing a father, I'm not seeing a mother. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Sure. I'm looking for a father, I'm looking for a mother. And the Lord said to tell you, there's a calling on your life. If you don't want me to talk to you, I'll leave you. Hey, look at me. If you don't want me to talk to you, I'll leave you alone. I'm telling you what God, God is showing me. There's a calling on your life. And you've already started doing this thing that God has given to you to do hmm? and God's going to help you Amen. the Lord is going to give you so much blessings and right now I see the anointing to take care of orphans what is wrong do you understand me Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sure. Sure. Yeah. You sound very proud. Let me leave you alone. You sound very proud, and I don't have time for proud people. She says, sure. Sure. Step back. Don't step to me. Don't step. Don't step to me. There's something about you that's putting me off. What, what is that? You are a pastor. What I'm saying is it true? It is true. It's, it's correct. Right. Come, come, Pastor. Let me talk to Pastor. <laughs> when the Lord is speaking to you and telling you what He has for you, you've got to receive it. You want to talk to Him? Talk, talk. Listen to what He has to say. She has hearing problem. Yes, sir. That she was not hearing very well. She has hearing problem, but she was not hearing me well. She was not hearing. Uh -huh. Not hearing problem. You don't have hearing problem. You're not hearing me well. Okay, I admit. Let me agree with you. Let me choose to agree. Kar, 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 karyuki, karyuki. Kar, karyuki. Hey. What's kar, what's karyuki? It's my father. 
What's Muton? Muton. It's my other name. Your other name, Mutoni. Hallelujah. Stand up. God is healing blood disease. Amen. Someone with HIV has just been healed. Amen. That virus is out of your body. Amen. That virus is out of your body. Amen. It's out of your body. Amen. The council of hell is frustrated. Amen. The council of hell is destroyed. Amen. Lift your hands, Pastor. Father, I ask for divine empowerment. The anointing that makes ministry easy. May it come upon you. The anointing that makes soul winning easy. Salvation of souls easy. May it come upon you. Amen. May the hand of the Lord be on your life. Amen. Your time has come. Uh, In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Begin to wave those hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Wave those hands to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Wave it, wave it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, if you're a pastor and you want to be a member of the sons of the prophet, at the end of the service, don't run, run or walk home. You come over this way, you wait. All the sons of the prophet, all the sons of the prophet and daughters of the prophet, after this service, don't go. Wait, Reverend Kinsley is going to meet with you. I have, an, I have um, an assignment for him to carry out. So don't go, all the sons of the prophet and daughters of the prophet. We promise you five minutes, they will be done. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> now let me say this to everybody here. This morning, what you have received in your life is favor. Amen. and this favor will begin to manifest Amen. Oh, if you don't want it let me only omega children yeah. maybe you don't want it favor has come upon you Amen. for every omega child oh. after today oh. I decree you will be celebrated there. Hey! May you be celebrated in the name of Jesus. Hey! Your doors are open in the name of Jesus. Hey! The cost is done to blessing. Hey! The cost is done to blessing. Hey! Your time has come. Hey! In Jesus' name. Hey! Hallelujah. I'm rounding up American Invasion for 2019. Be my guest as I come to Houston, Texas for a most outstanding move of God. And this is good news. It is Thanksgiving. Bring the child. Baby, come back to life. Come back to life! Hey, hey. It's back to life. It's not the first pregnancy you are having. Yes, it's not the first pregnancy. It's not. You've had miscarriage. Yes. Huh? Yes, I did. This woman, you think I'm guessing? You've had miscarriage. Now you are six months. Yes, I'm. Your pregnancy is six months and one week, three days, <laughs> twenty-two hours, fifty minutes, nineteen seconds. It's so prophetic and so strategic that God is sending me to Houston. And Thanksgiving, your life will turn around as we all shout Jesus. It is better to be envied than to be pitied. But the only problem about envy, it is very dangerous when people envy you for pettiness. Hello, great people. My name is Johnson Suleiman. I'd like to give you a special invitation, and I hope this message meets you well. Do you live in Edmonton? Do you live in Ottawa? Do you live in Toronto? Do you live in Winnipeg? This is an outstanding invitation for you all as I come to Calgary. 
I'll be in Canada for an outburst of the move of God, the great, great, massive harvest of souls. So I'm coming to Calgary. The address is now being scrolled, and all the information you need to get, the numbers to call for seat reservation. I'm believing God. I'm going to be laying my hands on the sick. I'm going to be praying for people, believing God for a miracle, and God will be sitting in the building. This year is our year of open heavens and uncommon grace, and that's what's coming to Calgary. I'll see you there.